Good evening, Your Excellency. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, Your Excellency, your dress looks like a king in Ibolan. Looks like what? You dress like a king in Ibolan. Um, uh, well, currently, I'm the president of Nigeria. So, by extension, I'm a king all over. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Uh, quickly, Your Excellency, mm. following your victory on the just concluded presidential election, Nigerians are worried that the governorship election in some states are declared inconclusive. What's your take on that, Your Excellency? So, um, my take on it is that you might have to have another interview with the INEC chairman. Because uh, I am doing everything possible in my power to make sure that uh, the federal government have no interference in the exercise of elections. So if I like decide to declare some states uh, the governorship election in some states inconclusive. I think that is their, that is totally their decisions, not mine. Uh, they are the ones handling it. They monitor the exercise. So they know why they did it, and they know why they took the decisions they they, they took. I have nothing whatever. Uh, whatsoever, rather, uh, to say on that. Because, like I said earlier, um, I have promised Nigerians that this is the legacy we want to keep when we leave office, that credible elections were conducted. So I see no reason why uh, free and fair election brought me too far and then I will not uh, repeat the same gesture to make sure that uh, Nigerians the decisions of Nigerians are being respected so like I said you might have to go and uh, organize another uh, interview with the INEC chairman. From there, you will get to hear a lot. Yes. Those are worried that something fishing is going on as regard to the postponement of the governorship election in some states. Well, like I said, I am not working for INEC. I am not the INEC chairman. So those who think that something is fishing, they should go and fish it out. That is all I have to say. Okay.